Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up automatic Minecraft server backup in Windows computers. The Minecraft server mostly works on these Windows computers and also the Linux computers. Some people might host their Minecraft server with their home computers or even with their server setup. And so every server needs to have their backup system, right? As for the Minecraft server, we do need to set up some backup. Otherwise, if people do grief your server or even some vault corruption occurs, you can always go back and change your vault back to the previous backup. So that's a great thing when it comes to Minecraft server auto backup. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. As you guys can see, this is my Minecraft server world and I'm going to set up like this world file alone is going to be taken as a backup for every few hours. So first off, you need two softwares for that. The first one is called Cobian Backup and the second one is called Restart and Crash. These two softwares have an important part in this process. So you have to follow these both steps. First off, you have to install this Cobian Backup in your desktop. During the installation, it may ask you to install them as an application or as a service. But if you are operating from your main computer, you can choose it like an application and auto start as current user. And once you have done that, you can just continue the installation. And once it's done, follow the next step. Sometimes it may show it like some installation error but it did install properly, so it doesn't matter. You can open this Copian backup software from your system tray or from your start menu. Okay, now the installation has been done successfully. So right now I'm going to configure my restart on crash software. For this, you have to open this software and click add. I am actually running my program right now, which is my server program. So I'm using this option to find my program. You can also use the second option to locate your server program manually. And also you have to add your server directory. It's the folder where you can find your server program. And also check these boxes and add 20 seconds timer. It will check for your server if it's running or not. And if it couldn't find your program is running, then it will wait for 20 seconds before relaunching your program automatically. Now let's check the results. I'm going to close my program on purpose. The software will think like the server is crashed and it will automatically restart our server after 20 seconds. I'll do a little fast forwarding so you guys don't have to wait 20 seconds. As you guys can see, it worked perfectly fine. Now I'm going to set this program to run on the startup. That means whenever our computer is on, our server will be online automatically. It's better if this program runs on the system tray. It should be running on the background. That way it won't interfere with our other works. Now let me show you how you can configure your Cobian backup. First off, you have to create a new task. For that, you have to right click like this and you have to name your task like anything you want. You can even create multiple tasks like this. So you can specify like what kind of backup you are making right now. For example, I'm going to configure it like every five hours, it should automatically take backup. That's how I'm going to set up. And so I am naming it like that. You can also create multiple tasks like this, which means you can even set it like every day on backup and also every three hours on backup and different kind of events, things like that. This is where you have to add your Minecraft world location. The software will only take backup from the source folder. So we have to add our Minecraft world location right here. And then there's a destination. We also have to give destination location. It's going to be the location where all the Minecraft world backups are going to be stored. You can choose your destination location anywhere you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I made my destination location in the desktop. Now let's customize the schedule. Here you can choose whenever your backup needs to be performed automatically. But for me, I need to take every 5 hours one backup. 
so i had to use timer option and uh, it counts in minutes so i had to give it like 300 minutes 300 minutes is 5 hours so you can do the simple calculation or you can just use the google for the calculation now let me show you the next configuration it's going to be the archive you can use no compression option if you want that will copy your entire world backup and just paste normally and without compression i will show you what happens if you use both in this video so it, it's not an issue so i'm going to leave this as it is for now events this is where we can set up the conditions for the program and these conditions are going to decide what's going to happen before and after backup so you have to configure this properly otherwise it won't be accurate or perfect in the backup the first condition is going to be like close the server it should close the server before starting the backup otherwise it might corrupt the world sometimes if people are playing in real time there will be some chunk changes if the backup occurs at that time it could potentially corrupt our world so it's better to keep the server offline before starting the backup this gobian backup will only recognize our program by its window title for example this title is like this program's location so you have to enter this title accurately It's asking us whether to forcibly close the application or not. I would say we shouldn't do the force close because sometimes that can also cause the world corruption. So I would say no. The second condition is going to be like close the restart and crash software because that software will restart our server if the server is found offline. As I said it before, the copying software conditions will be identified by the progress name i mean the software window name and so i have to write it like this now let's configure what should happen after the backup you have to click add and then click the execute option and you have to add the restart and crash program right here this will automatically open the crash program and it will start to check if the server is running or not and it will start the server if it's not running that way after the backup your server will be automatically restarted now let us check the results as sometimes it's very important to check everything after we configured it so let's check the results Whenever it comes around the scheduled timing, it will trigger this effect. It actually closed our server and the restart and crash software. And it begins to copy our world file. Actually, it's copying to the destination location I have set as auto backup in my desktop. It can be anywhere as I said it before. But right now it's copying the world backup in my desktop. Once the backup is done, it actually opened the restart and crash program and, and the program is actually checking if the server is running or not. And after the 20 seconds, it actually opened the server for us. It seems it backed our world file perfectly fine. You can use this backup as non-compression or with compression. But if you decided to use compression, that's the thing that I usually use because it will be like a single file. And also, it will be easy to identify and easy to manage. But the only thing I noticed is that it will take a little bit more time to compress your world file. That depends on your world size, of course. If your world size is very smaller, then the compression time will be also very smaller. 
let's test the results again so we will know how the zip format compression will be look like and also i will do the little bit fast forwarding so you guys don't have to wait for that long I would say this is the ideal method for our Minecraft world backup in Windows computers. And also the world backup is perfect. And I hope this helps you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. If this helps you guys then please also like this video and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.